questions? Did you like, did you like that progress from USC to Wisconsin? Yeah. <clears throat> we won. That's that's what that's at the end of the day. That's what matters. Uh, you know, I give the all the credit in the world to you know starting at the top with Coach Rule. I mean, I thought he did a great job of motivating the guys all week and getting them ready to go. Uh, you know, I look I look at it a little differently, obviously, just because I just I just got here and you know it's, it's been a long season for these guys and and uh, you know a couple of losses here and there they start stacking up. All been through it, but. Uh, you know, I saw a very motivated team, uh, practiced well, and was uh, was very energized as the week went on. And, you know, game day was pretty special, pretty spectacular. It's the first time I've experienced it on the home sidelines. But, uh, you know, they were, they were ready to play and uh, got the win, you know. So I, I know everybody's excited about that, and, and hopefully it motivates everybody to want to do it again here this week. Position or – element of the offense did you see the most improvement in from you know everywhere honestly you know I sat up here a week ago and you know I, I don't remember what I said but uh, I felt encouraged uh, I know Dylan said it you know felt encouraged and it kind of is hard to justify feeling encouraged when you score 13 points and you're 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 in a game that you can win and you don't okay but uh it just felt good. It felt better. You know, this is from people that say what it's what it what it what it's been like. You know, and so the players were excited about uh, lining up and practicing, and had a good week of practice. Went out there and played better. I mean, it is. You know, we we ran the ball better. <clears throat> you know, second week in a row, I thought the old line has played well. Uh, Dylan's been he hasn't he hasn't been hit a whole lot. You know, he feels good. He's getting better. He's processing things well. Uh, we're throwing and catching it better. Our receivers are in the right spots. You know, we improved in the red zone. You know, we lost that game at USC because we couldn't finish drives. And then, you know, that was a, a, a big focus last week, and we, we got five touchdowns in seven red zone attempts. You know, so moved the ball well. Uh, just, you know, overall was, 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 was good improvement. You know, and Wisconsin's a good football team. Um, that's the way it's going to be every week in the Big Ten. So, you know, we're excited about taking another step. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be harder. We all know that. Uh, I was a really good football team. They play great defense. They have for what's it going on? Twenty five years now. Uh, you know, I, I remember my second year at Texas Tech, two thousand one. We played Iowa in the Alamo Bowl, and it's the same thing. You know, twenty some years later, it's the same scheme, same coach, same everything. This is this is crazy. You know, so. Uh, it, it's going to take another good effort and more improvement to be able to, you know, go to Iowa and, and, and play in that atmosphere against a good football team. What would you say the key's been for Emmett Johnson the last two weeks? I mean, two really, really strong games. Uh, I think, uh, you know, everything starts up front, you know, so the O-line's doing a good job. Tight ends are doing a good job. Uh, I think we're doing a good job as a staff of, of scheming things. Uh, and then, and then just you know, give him as much credit as the rest of them. I mean, that, he's gaining confidence. You know, he's 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 been put in that role, and and he's taken advantage of his opportunity. I don't I don't know what the touches were before I was here. I didn't go back and look at that. I watched all the video, but I didn't study touches or anything. But um, he's he's certainly taken advantage of this opportunity. You know, he goes in there and he's a difference maker. He was the offensive player of the week last last week, and and uh, and and played well. You know, so. Um, you know, just give him credit for the, the amount of work that he's putting in and, and the attitude that he has. He's a great, great young man. And, you know, I just say this, you know, the, 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 the culture that Coach Rule has here and the players, the, the you know, I call it the give a crap level, but uh, just, you know, how much they care and how much they want to play, enjoy playing, enjoy practicing, enjoy uh, the, the process uh, allows me to coach the way I want to coach. And, and, uh, you know, proud of him for how he's been playing. He's been a huge spark here the last two weeks. You talked about the culture. I mean, on the, the coaching staff front as well. I mean, coming in here, you, you never know how an existing group is going to react. You know, just how do you speak to just how they welcomed you and made it an easy transition? It's a little bit of an understatement. It was a rough week. The first week was like, I think everybody was like, you know, how's this going to work? You know, I was starting with me and Coach Rule's office. You know, how's this going to work? I mean, 
And we kind of worked through it over the course of two, three days. And, you know, I started getting into the offensive room with those coaches, and those coaches were looking at me crazy. I'm like, what are you doing here? You know, I mean, that's – it's just true. You know, each and every one of them were like, okay, you know. And, and so we had to sit down and talk and start feeling things out and start working together. And I, I really – I give those, give those assistant coaches a lot of credit, man. They just – they didn't bat an eye. You know, I thought we were smart with how we handled I could have came here and changed specific things, you know, and that wouldn't have been the right thing to do for the coaches, for the players. And so I was the one that had to learn, you know, and it was a – it was – I ain't going to lie, it was rough for about two weeks. I'm sitting there, you know, uh, with flashcards trying to learn offense and terminology. And, you know, I know Coach mentioned this yesterday. It's just true. I mean, I got tongue-tied a few times in the game on Saturday and couldn't get out. I, did, I, I knew what I wanted. I just couldn't, like, say it. You know, and so those coaches have to help me with it. And I get better at it every day, you know. And so, uh, you know, give those coaches a lot of credit for, you know, welcome, welcoming me and, and, and working well together. And I think we are working well together as game playing has been, been great this week. And went out there and had a good practice, executed it, and look forward to getting better tomorrow. Have you been able to add? Have you been able to add much? Sorry. You're uh, okay. Have you been able to add much at all conceptually with what you with, with what they're doing? Uh, a little bit here and a little bit there. You know, I'm, I mean, just you, 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 they have everything in the playbook. I mean, this is a very large playbook. You know, and and, and it's. You know, I think I think it just goes back to you know, Coach Rule's been an NFL guy, and, and the offense has kind of stayed the same for for him, and he's added to it and added to it, and Sats added to it, and you know, then you got you got Coach Riola, who's an NFL guy, who's adding to it, and and Glenn, who's an NFL guy, that's adding to it, and so there's just all kinds of ideas and stuff. So that 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 fl- that playbook got pretty big. So. You know, I was just like, look, there's only one sheet, and whatever's on the sheet's what's going to get called, and so. You know, that's my job is to, like, take all the information from everybody. They all give me ideas. You know, they, they ask me if this is too much and let me know. And I go, I promise you, I'll let you know. And so they give me all your ideas, and I'm going to organize it to, way, to where I know where things are, and I know we've repped them, and I know we're good at it. Uh, and if that's not the case, then I take them off the sheet, and they're not going to get called. So we probably shouldn't focus on those calls in practice, you know. So uh, we've done a good job of coming together and, and, and coming up with – with the plan of, of what makes sense to our players. And what, if it don't make sense to me, it ain't going to make sense to them. And so um, I think that part's been good. Back to the language acquisition, when was the last time you had to learn like a brand new language that you weren't familiar with? I think uh, when I was in college at, at Iowa Wesleyan, um, you know, I played in the air raid. And so that, that's how Mummy, Mike Leach, uh, you know, for a couple of years, uh, you know, at Iowa Wesley, and then I went to Valdosta, and I, it was the same offense, and then I broke away, and it was that was my offense, and I've changed my offense over the course of years. That's 35 years ago, probably in high school, was probably a different offense. And I, I do think when they developed the air raid, I think they looked at like a pro-style offense and said, we're going to do everything different than that. You know, so learning the air raid, I, I, I promise you, everything's different. And so it's it's been good for me. It's one reason why I wanted to come is to challenge myself to do that. It's one reason why I wanted to go to TCU at the beginning of the year is to sit in a defensive room and challenge myself. You know, and so it's been good. You know, at the end of the day, there's only 11 people out there. Uh, but it has been – it's been a long time. It's a more recent rivalry, but uh... – any nostalgia or enjoyment of being an Iowa guy in the Nebraska Iowa game? No, yeah. not really. No disrespect. I just I grew up a Hawkeye fan, but that was 35 years ago. You know, <laughs> you know, and, and a great deal of respect for Coach Ferentz. And you know, I I obviously followed it just growing up. Uh, being a, I followed it when Bob Stoops was was interviewing for Iowa and took Oklahoma, and then you know Coach Ferentz you know took the job. We played him in 2001, and so. I, you know, haven't competed against them or, or been around it for 22 years, so to speak. So, you know, I know what they've done, what they've accomplished. I know Kinnick Stadium's a, you know, a, a great place, and they have tremendous fan support, and they're right on top of you, and it's loud, and it's going to be wild. Besides, his, besides his obvious gifts, what stands out about uh, Ja'Cory Barney and just what has made him successful as a freshman? Well, he's a fun kid to be around. That I've, I noticed that like that you know and so you know just his personality is uh is is infectious he's 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 fun to be around um you know he works hard uh, you know he had two or three really good practices when i first got here and then 
he, his back started tightening up, and I was like, man, I guess you're not what I thought you were. You know, and then, and then a week later, he snapped out of it, and he's been good for for two weeks. Uh, works hard, practices hard, uh, understands, you know, you know, football, the offense, how to line up. Um, you know, we were probably playing, you know, people in too many different spots. You know, I was like, so why is he here on this play and he's there on another play? And then he's – and so they're just kind of moving people around too much. And that's one thing I've always believed in and being a receiver coach is just settle people in at spots and you let them get comfortable and that reduces the thinking and they can they can go out there and they can just play, you know. And so I've noticed that with him over the course of the last couple of weeks, uh, you know, just being more familiar and understanding kind of where to line up and what to do. Uh, my job is to take the thinking out of it for these guys, you know. Um, just a freshman, man. You know, I, I told him, and I hate this, I hesitate to say this, but uh, I, I told him, you have some Tank Dell in you, because he does. I mean, he's not very big, he's twitchy, you know, he can run, he's got good ball skills. Uh, it took Tank probably three, four years uh, to be able to be in that mindset, you know, and now he's doing it at the NFL level. This kid's a freshman. You know, when Tank was a freshman, he was at Alabama A&M. You know, and so and then he went JUCO, you know, and then I got him and a couple of years later he is what he was. But he's he's got that kind of ability, you know, and, and look forward to coaching him hard here over the next uh, couple of games to see where we're at. I'm sure that it's been pretty day What's by up, day. Man? Hey, how are you? Good. You doing all right? Doing well. Um didn't I'm recognize sure you in here last week. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's been pretty day by day for you since you got here. After this last game, you're used to going doing in homes. They don't do that now. Do you know what you're doing next week? No. Uh, you're recruiting the portal, or what's, what's ahead for you? I, I'm taking Saturday off. Um, that's the only thing I know. Uh, I will probably dig into that on Sunday. Um, you know, I said this last week. I, we don't know what, what we don't know yet. I mean, this is like I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to know what what's next. I know I told Coach Rule, I promise you, I will put my head down and and get after USC and then get after. Wisconsin and get after Iowa and then we'll figure out where we're at. There's a bowl game on the horizon, you know, which everybody's excited about. I, I, I know, uh, I know, I know coach is excited about, you know, the developmental practices and that's, that's going to take place. And I look forward to, you know, 14, 15 practices, whatever it is now, it, it, which is new because like, like bowl games when recruiting was taking up 90% of your time, I, I sat in front of the media you know, complaining about bowl games because you really couldn't practice. I mean, you're out in the road recruiting. You got to deal with finals. You sometimes you play the game on December fifteenth. I mean, when are you going to practice? You know, we, you know, the last three or four bowl games that I've been to, we literally practiced five times. You know, it was a game week. You know, and so I think that's going to be a little bit different now because of the rules and stuff. And you know, I, I know we'll, we'll take advantage of the developmental stuff, which is going to be awesome because there's a bunch of freshman receivers that I don't even know who they are. It's, honestly, I mean, I don't, I don't, I haven't coached them yet, you know. And so, I uh, look forward to doing that. Um, you know, as far as what's next, I don't know. I'm taking Saturday off. You heard me, Susan? I ain't coming in. <laughs> I, I did. Uh, I, 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 I kind of relaxed a little bit last week. So my family came in town. Had a lot of people here. You know, so we had a little bit of downtime and stuff. So that was pretty cool. And then, you know, after the game, we we all celebrated. You know, so that was pretty cool. And then back to work Sunday morning. Yeah, what did you see from the tight end position? Um, just where Nate Borkacher, Luke Lindenmeyer were getting in there a lot last week, and conversely, Fedoni maybe not having a lot of snaps. Yeah, that, that's that's you know that's I, I took that approach at every position. I mean, I know everybody wants to talk about the tight end position because of of, of what happened on Saturday, but that that's been the case at every single position. It's about competition, you know, and and competition makes people better, and so we're trying to develop competition at every single position. Uh, you know, I do think that the tight ends have improved, you know, especially Nate and Luke, they have improved, you know, because I said what I said, if, you know, I don't care who's played or who's the starter. If you if you're if if if, if you're not performing at the level I need you to perform at based on what looks like in practice, then we're going to change it. And that that position has been changed based on the fact that 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 Nate and Luke have 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 really done a nice job. OK, now. I think that motivated Thomas. Thomas just had the best practice he's had since I've been here, you know. And so I, you know, I appreciate his attitude and his understanding. And he just he lined up and he practiced hard for two days. And so I would anticipate him going in there making plays on Saturday.
Dana Outside of that conversation about what's going on here next month or next year, can you just speak to from your aspirations? What, how, do you do you want to get back to the place where you're a head coach again at the college level? I, I'm happy being here right now. I'm, I love the, what I'm doing. Uh, I had more fun on Saturday than I've had in a long time. You know, I mean, there's there's an element of being head coach 13 years, not being able to enjoy it like I did on Saturday. You know, my history is calling offensive plays and offensive football, and I really enjoy it a lot, you know, and so I don't know. I ain't going to think about it. I ain't going to worry about it. You know, I'm happy here and appreciate the opportunity, for, you know, that, that coach gave me, uh, making the most of it, you know, uh, learning a lot, learning a lot from, from Coach Rule as far as how he's running the program. Uh, I'm not going to answer the question as far as what I want to do next. Just to be clear, though, you, you're, <clears throat> you've been called plays in a bowl game? I, but yeah, I mean, it, it, that that's the plan. You know, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, my, my plan is to focus on Iowa and try to beat Iowa and then see what happens after that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.